Okay, for this bracelet, welcome to part two of um, awareness bracelet uh, tutorials. So this bracelet is going to be the memory wire bracelet. We made this bracelet in the first video with the um, beading wire. And this is with tiger tail beading wire with our extender chain and our awareness ribbon hanging off. And I'm wearing it because it's pretty. And this one I'm going to use two charms and I'm going to use this one I want to make for a heart and stroke. So basically because my mother had heart disease and it runs in my family, we're going to I'm going to make this and wear a red one. So I'm going to use a red heart to represent heart disease and the red ribbon for the matching color. Now because we're using um, memory wire I like to use oval jump rings. I don't like using the round ones because they can pull apart. This stuff is very strong and it's a lot harder to pull apart an oval jump ring as opposed to a round jump ring. So that's just you want to keep that in mind when using memory wire. Also, um, if you don't have a pair of memory wire cutters, do not cut memory wire with your good flush cutters like these. If you have an old pair of wire cutters and you don't mind getting gouges and cuts and you know an old pair because I have tons of pairs of these go ahead and cut your memory wire with your old pliers but I really highly recommend that you get a pair of <coughs> uh, memory wire cutters only because these cut so easy and they don't destroy. Now I'm going to use um, in the red one I'm going to use an extender chain of course I'm going to use a lobster clasp and for my lobster clasp I'm going to join it with an oval jump ring. For my crystal Swarovski heart I need a bale so I'm going to use this bale here. I'm going to bring the camera up a little bit so you can see what I'm using here. I'm going to use this bale for this crystal heart and I'm going to attach it with an oval jump ring and I'm going to use an oval jump ring for the ribbon. I am also going to use 3mm Crystal AB crystals. These are not Shroskis. I'm going to use 6mm um, Siam Red crystals and 4mm Siam Red crystals. And I'm going to use these Stardust 4mm um, silver plated beads. And of course I'm going to use Daisy Spacers. You will need memory wire. You will need your regular um, round nose pliers, chain nose pliers to uh, fix the, the end of the memory wire and I'll show you how to do that in just a sec. So let's get started on the memory wire. Now this here you don't want to cut a big hunk either. So you want to cut it where it just begins to overlap in the join here. So let me get my slinky ready here because this is what it looks like. Um, I wish I had gold memory wire. I would have made this in gold because red and gold look really nice together. But I'm not a gold wearer, so I'll stick with the silver plated. My husband's too cheap to buy me real silver or, you know, white gold. Can you imagine this being white gold? Yeah, I wouldn't waste even a little tiny piece. <laughs> He's giving me dirty looks because he can clearly hear what I'm saying. <laughs> but he's so cute. Now, when... What did I go and do? Tangle this slinky back up. See how your um, memory wire overlaps top here? Take your memory wire cutters and just cut it just a little bit while it's overlapped. So I'm saying maybe half inch and trim it off. So it's overlapping about a half an inch. You see that? You really don't want it any bigger than that. And if you have a really tiny wrist, that's going to work out perfect. Now, let's get your round nose pliers. Get this stuff out of my way a little bit. It's, it's kind of hard to work with everything right in my face. Okay, up there. Oh. Alright, so what you're going to do now to finish off one end, because these are um, 
very sharp very very sharp here so we're going to take our round nose pliers grasp, grasp the end and fold it and these this is very strong so just go around in a circle and make a loop like that but you really want to close that loop you know not leave it open I think everything will just fall off it we don't want that so continue till it's completely closed like so see it is closed and it's flush with the end and it's even kind of overlapping a little bit which I don't mind because I know nothing's gonna fall off of it and here you're just gonna start the same way you did with this bracelet you're just gonna build on this wire whatever design you want so I'm gonna start of course with a stardust bead get these guys out of my way like this I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Let me come up a little bit more. Okay. So a stardust bead. Let's take a crystal. Tiny three millimeter crystal. And let's drop that on. So I'm just kind of building a pattern. Like a little section here. And then I'm just going to keep uh, repeating the pattern all the way around until I get to the end. Hopefully it'll match by the time I get to the end. And it may not. All right, so let's put another stardust bead on. So there's the one end of my memory wire. Now I'm going to put a daisy spacer, a six millimeter red one, and a daisy spacer. And then I'm going to just stick a red four millimeter Swarovski in there push it down like that and this is how I'm going to build on my bracelet now so one of these one of these and a six millimeter oopsies oh uh, you know what I kind of think that's just too much silver here so Hang on, I'm going to take this off because I don't really care for that. So, <laughs> this is just the way I am. Let's put a four millimeter in there and the stardust bead. And let's take a three millimeter, a daisy spacer, a six millimeter, a daisy spacer, and another three millimeter. <coughs> and let's see how that looks. There we go. How is that? It's a little better. So this is my pattern. <clears throat> pattern I'm going to repeat now. So I'm going to pick up, um, let me put some over here, a day's, er, a stardust bead. Stardust, a four millimeter and a stardust. Like that. Then we're going to pick up a three millimeter crystal, a daisy spacer, a six millimeter, a daisy spacer, and another three millimeter. And that's all I'm going to do until I get to the end of this. When you get to the end, leave about a quarter of an inch of wire on this end here, enough to, so you can make a loop like this. Okay? And when I get done this, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've gotten to the end of my bracelet and I've got probably a little more than a quarter inch there. So instead of, because I wanted my bracelet to be kind of the same on each side, I'm going to trim a wee bit of that um, wire off because it is too long to make a loop. We only want it to be about a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to take off about that much. And it doesn't matter because you're going to use an extender chain anyways, right? So Now you're going to take your round nose pliers and you're going to make your loop around and close the loop good and tight. Wow, that's a stiffy. I'm going to use
stuff is very strong. So that's it for that. That's all done. Closed our loops. They're nice and tightly closed. So nothing can fall out of them. Make extra darn sure it's closed and don't do, look what I just did. Yeah. Silly. Went way too far over and that's nasty to get out. So let me try with my round nose pliers and try to straighten this up. There we go. All right, so we fixed it, sort of. It's good enough. Now let's take our uh, little crystal heart here and add our bail. So all I do for the bail is I stick my needle nose in there like this and I pry it open enough to get my heart in there. Slip the heart into the hole. And it's still not open enough. Yeah, it's not open enough. There, a little wee bit more. There we go. And I give this a good squeeze with my fingers. Just a little bit. And then I'll close it with the pliers. Nice and tight. So we don't want to lose our heart. So there. Now we have that hanging off of a bale. We need to add our extender chain. And again, extender chain's way too long, so I will be snipping off. Where's my wire cutters? I'm going to cut some pieces off. So I'm going to cut um, three pieces off here. And I'm going to cut this end one off. I don't like it. Thank God for glasses, because that just flew up and hit me in the glasses. So it would have been nice to get in the eyeball. So I've cut it, and now I've made my extender chain just a little wee piece. See? Now to that extender chain, let's add our charms. And of course, I'm going to hang my charms off there. So let's open our oval jump rings. Add this one. Add the extender chain. And let's close it up. Nice and tight. And we'll do the same now for the awareness charm. Open up your oval jump ring. I could have used smaller oval jump rings, but because I've got these dangles hanging off of it, that's another reason why I shortened it. And let's close up this one. Good and tight. We don't want to lose our stuff. So there. And now we have our charms hanging off. Oops, backwards. So there's our charms. Now our last oval jump ring. We needed three of them. Open this one up. Add your lobster clasp. Add it to your bracelet and one of your loops on the end of your bracelet. And close it up nice and tight. That doesn't seem to be too tight. When they rub together, you know they're closed tight. And now we're going to open up one end of our extender chain piece here very carefully. Open this up. Twist it. Put it in here and close it up. Nice and tight. And that's it. There is your heart and stroke one. And if this, again, this extender chain is too long for you, take a few links out. It might be too long for me too. So let me put it on, check it out. Um, yeah, it is a bit too long, so I'm going to show you how to shorten it. It's real easy. All you do is take it, 
kind of I'm gonna cut off at least three links so I'm just gonna open it here close that there and I'm going to reattach that opened one to shorten it on the end and then I'll pull the other one off and the piece that we just cut off cut it if you're too lazy like me and want to open it just snap it off there we go goodbye and now it's shortened a little better right So now we have our red and our pink awareness. And like I said, as you can see here, let me show you on the camera here. As you can see here, there's a little bit of a gap here. I could still do it up in this loop, but I don't want it to be the crystals rubbing on my wrist, my skin, because it's going to hurt. So what you want to do is make sure you put a piece of your extender chain on it and do it up in the extender chains. That way you're not going to lose this because this could just pull right off your wrist that easy. Okay, so that's it for this bracelet and now I will be back to show you bracelet number three awareness and I think you're going to love this one so hang tight I'll be back. Okay, now we are back for the final bracelet awareness bracelet I want to show you how to make and this one is going to be made out of stretch bead cord and this is really a popular bracelet and the one I'm doing is a multicolored crystal bracelet and this set of crystals I purchased off of Fire Mountain Gems in a package I think they were called like a spring mix and they're really pretty colors in here but again these are all colors for awareness and I'm going to use a silver plated awareness charm like that. It's just a little dainty one. I'm going to use oval jump ring because this is going to go between your crystal beads and you really don't want that to go over your beads and flop all over the place. I'm going to use a bead stop. You can use a regular bead if you don't have any. And I'm just going to use my four millimeter um, silver plated beads. You will need a pair of scissors. You will need your stretch cord. Again, you can even use, um, oh, what's it called? That fibery stuff, opium or something. And you will need some clear nail polish or some glue to dab onto the knot so you, your bracelet doesn't come apart. You will need um, two pairs of pliers to open your jump ring and close your jump ring. And that's it. Let's get started. Now I'm going to cut a piece of my, um, stretch cord here if I can find the end. I thought I had an opened one but I guess I don't. And we will open this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut a long enough piece just for shits and giggles. So that's probably <laughs> a foot. <laughs> Boy I have a big rest, eh? Alright, let me get close up for you so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, this one is like I said a very popular bracelet when I was making these a few years back um, the most I sold were all the mixed crystals I had some really dark ones but because it's spring and summer I'm going to stick with the small crystals and I'm going to stick with these very light colors there's peach there's a light light rose there's light amethyst there's a light emerald and there's also a rose pinky opal in here and then there's another really light color peach. I think it's almost like an amber. It's a little little lighter than this peach here. Okay. So to get started I'm going to just clip my bead stop onto my stretch cord because everything's just going to fall off of this. And it's not fun to um, string all your beads on and have them just all fall off on one end here. Okay, so all I'm going to do, oh, well, I better clip this off because that's going to give me havoc. All I'm going to do for this bracelet is string on one silver plated ball and one crystal. And I'm going to do the whole entire bracelet different colors because I have the, the different colors here. So I'm just going to pick a color as I go. 
It's not going to be random. I am going to go in order because I don't want like two peaches beside, beside it. So into the silver ball. And let's take a peach. <coughs> a silver ball. And you're going to make this bracelet. These are why these are very popular because they'll fit. They're pretty much... Uh, one size fits all kind of thing. So they'll fit anybody, really. So let's take a rose opal. And these are Swarovskis. Swarovskis, however you want to say it. So I'm just going to go off the camera now and finish up doing this with one silver. You can do whatever you want, but I'm just going to like it like this separate them with you can even use a three millimeter silver bead but I kind of like to stick with the fours all the way around and I'll be back when I get to the end of my bracelet okay I have pretty much got to the end of the bracelet in the length that I want here but before I put on my last bead so as you can see I started with um, a silver bead over here I need to end with a crystal so what I did is uh, what I'm going to do is I've got the green because I went in this kind of an, an order here is I'm going to put my jump ring on but at first I'm going to attach my uh, awareness ribbon and then I'm going to close this jump ring up nice and tight where'd it go <laughs> Maybe I'll close my jump ring if it stays put in my pliers. All right, let's do this. And it's not closing. There we go. Now, believe that's good and tight here. So this is closed. Now what I want to do is I want to string this on. Instead of putting a silver bead between the pink crystal, my last one, just going to pick up this and as you can see because I used an oval jump ring it's not going to go over top of the bicone and move around on me so now it's time to pick up my last pink one like so close that up there release your cord and just tie some square knots this looks like a pretty big bracelet not too bad. As you can see, it's not too bad. It's gorgeous. You should see the sparkle in this. And the colors are just phenomenal. So square knot is right over left. And pull that. And try not to snag your beads. And left over right. to snag my bead. I always do that, you know that? <laughs> Somehow gets tucked underneath my knot. There we go. So right over left and left over right. And pull. And the reason I'm not going to do much more is I want to pull that bead inside and because the hole between in these beads is so small um, you put too many knots it's not going to uh, pull in there and hide so take your knot like so take your clear nail polish or glue whatever you like I like the clear nail polish it does seal good and just dab your knot all the way around let it fall all over, so lift it up, get the nail polish all in there, and just let it dry. And I'm going to pull it tight. And there's your awareness ribbon. All completed. So I hope you've learned something about 
awareness ribbons and also what you could do with all your crazy beads that you have no use for. Just go on the internet and search in Google, search awareness ribbons, colors, and with each one of those on the internet, it'll tell you what the color means. So you, if you know somebody that's ill or someone that wants to wear a ribbon just to, or color just to support um, someone else that they know that's not well or had a sickness of some kind or need awareness of some kind. So now I can trim off my threads and I'm not going to cut them right to the knot. I'm just going to leave a little bit of room. And then I'm going to try to pull that knot inside of my silver bead, which worked out perfect, except the silver bead went right over it. There we go. So the hot, the knot's completely hidden now. So anyways, I hope you've um, enjoyed watching and you've learned something. How to make, I have showed you how to make awareness bracelets in three different ways. So the first way was with the tiger tail, and I'm just getting them off so I can show them. And let's go out. So the first one was with the tiger tail and your crimp bead. The second one was with your memory wire and an extender chain as well. And the third one is with stretch cord which is very, very popular. Back when I made these bracelets in 1990, I believe it was in 98, we didn't really have stretch cord like this, or at least I didn't find it, and they didn't even have memory wire. So all my bracelets were made with this tiger tail stuff. That, like I said, this is a time consuming one, but it's a good, strong bracelet, and it isn't gonna break on you, so that's for sure. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and you make lots of awareness bracelets and wear them to work, show them around your family and friends. You'll probably get a ton of sales in your awareness bracelets. So have fun. Happy beating everyone. See you next week. Bye-bye.